Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for April 13th. The hand of the Lord was on me there, and he said to me, Get up and go out to the plain, and there I will speak to you. Ezekiel 3.22 Have you ever heard of anyone being greatly used by Christ who did not experience a special time of waiting, or a complete upset of his plans at first, from the Apostle Paul's being sent into the Arabian wilderness for three years, during which time he must been overflowing with the good news, down to the present day, it seems those who will be used will have a time of waiting. Have you been looking forward to telling about trusting Jesus, but instead he's asking you to show what trust is by waiting? My own experience is far less severe than Paul's, but reveals the same principle. Once when I thought the door was being thrown open for me to enter the literary field with a great opportunity, it was just as quickly shut. My doctor stepped in and simply said, Never, you must choose between writing and living, for you cannot do both. The year was 1860, and I did not come out of my shell of isolation with my book, Ministry of Song, until 1869. By then I saw the distinct wisdom of having been kept waiting for nine years in the shade. God's love is unchangeable, and he is just as loving in, even when we do not see it or feel it and his love and his sovereignty are equal and universal. Therefore, he often withholds our enjoyment and awareness of our pro progress because he knows best what will actually ripen and further his work in us. Francis Ridley Havergal I set it down in silence, this work of mine, and took what had been sent me, a resting time. The Master's voice had called me to rest apart, apart with Jesus only, echoed my heart. I took the rest and stillness from his own hand, and felt this present illness was what he planned. How often we choose labor when he says rest. Our ways are blind and crooked, his way is best. Work he himself has given, he will complete. There may be other errands for tired feet. There may be other duties for tired hands. The present is obedience to his commands. There is a blessed resting in lying still in letting his hand mold us just as he will. His work must be completed, his lesson set. He is the master workman, do not forget. It is not only working, we must be trained, and Jesus learned obedience through suffering gained. For us his yoke is easy, his burden light, his discipline most needful, and all is right. We are to be his servants, we never choose, if this tool or if that one our hands will use. In working or in waiting, may we fulfill, not ours at all, but only the Master's will, selected. God provides resting places as well as working places, so rest and be thankful when he brings you, tired and weary, to streams along the way. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.